morning. It is me again. It is exactly eight o'clock in the morning on December the 29th. Just three more days. Two more days. Well, two more days to the cash day left of 2016. My goodness. So, uh, oh, car's not feeling it this morning. There we go. So, um, what excitement do I have for you? I have been starting to get my shit together very slowly. And uh, one of the things I did to get my shit together is I actually joined a gym. I joined Retro Fitness just around the corner. Um, I really like the look of it. The equipment looks fantastic. Three minutes walk from my house, brightly colored. So I'm gonna do it. Uh, last night I actually said to myself, I'm going to wake up at 5am and go to the gym. Unfortunately I didn't get to bed until like midnight in the end. Um, but before I went to sleep, weird thing, I said, okay brain, law of attraction here. Wake me up at 5 in the morning. 5 in the morning, bing, I was awake. Admittedly, it was because uh, my little girl had decided to climb into bed with us. But interestingly enough, she did that at exactly 5 o'clock in the morning. So there we go. But because I was so tired, I didn't go to sleep until at 5 o'clock this morning. So that was a bit of a fail. But baby steps, baby steps, right? The other thing I did is I established a baseline. This morning I weighed myself. I weigh 189 pounds. Might as well round it up and say 190 pounds. That's my big chub weight. And I, in my defense, I've been holding steady at that chub weight for about a year. So I'm not getting fatter. Always I'm not getting thinner. Um, the cool thing about this scale that we bought is it also measures body fat, and I am 25% body fat. Body fat. One quarter of me is fat. That's bad. That's really bad. So at my best, I was like 15% body fat. Now I'm 6 for 6. I want to be up to like. For some reason, arbitrarily, I said 12. Well, that's the whole question. Okay, so I'm a member of the gym now. I know how much I weigh, I know what my body fat percentage is, it's time for me to take action. And the problem is, when you decide to take action, uh, as a guy, you have two options. What do I want to do? Do I want to get big and swole and get muscles, or do I want to get lean and thick and loose and chub? And the problem is, uh, you cannot do both, uh, unless you go on like some crazy ketogenic diet where you eat like carbs and sugar. So um, you can either eat less uh, eat fewer calories than you burn, and then you will lose weight. And if you go to the gym on a regular basis, the weight you lose will mostly be fat. Uh, or you can eat more calories than you burn, and go to the gym and lift a ton of heavy weight, and then you will gain muscle. Uh, the problem is, if you gain muscle, you don't lose any fat. So I'm 25% fat. I've got a lot of like, if I weigh nearly 200 pounds, and I'm 25% fat, that means I'm basically 50 pounds of me in fat. And so whatever I do, if I gain more muscle, I'm still going to be lugging around 50 pounds of fat. Um, the problem is, of course, we uh, lose weight by eating out. Then mostly, as long as you go to the gym, you lose fat. You can lose a bit of muscle as well, because everybody gains muscle. So it's a toss-up between the two. I think I decided I'm going to be leaner, and I'm going to lose some fat, because um, I'm 25% fat, I'm also 40% mus muscle, so I'm reasonably muscular, um, so I'm, and they always say, if you want to look like you've gained 20 pounds of muscle, lose 10 pounds of fat, so that's my plan, so that means I need to start thinking very seriously about how I'm going to achieve that, um, and, you know, there are various things I've tried in the past, I gave up drinking for a couple of months, and I lost 10 pounds like that, which I'm not gonna lie, I think it's quite impressive. Uh, I went vegan for a few months and I lost 10 pounds like that. So I could go vegan and give up drinking. Um, and I would probably drop a ton of weight and that would be great. Um, the other time that I have really, really worked hard and lost a ton of weight, I lost like 30 pounds, was just by counting my calories. I used to call my fitness pal, which is an app on your phone, and then I count the calories and um, that's how I lost all the weight. So, I don't know. I'm going to start counting calories and then I think I'm going to think more strategically 
to go off, but uh, I think I'm going to really launch into this January 1st, and I might even do 21 days of not drinking through the second uh, week. I know, it's always a challenge. I think that's the biggest challenge on Facebook for me is in my head. Like I said yesterday, it's all about being in your head. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's like one of my icons, he said that the brain always breaks before the body does. The body can do things that the brain is not really capable of doing. It's all a mental game. So there is no reason why I can't get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and go to the gym. I've done it. I did it for like a year straight. I just need to go to bed early. I just need to get my head, pull my head out of my derriere get myself together and get over these mental barriers that I've, I've managed to build up over the past few years. So that's my plan. And it should be my plan. Um, losing weight and getting fit is not my only plan. I think, I think that's it. As a, I'm getting older, and so I need to start losing fat. So I want to have to turn to other things that I can get up for in, in my life and my career. So um, I'm very lucky at the moment, and I have a job where I earn very good money for what I do, but um, it's tough, it's challenging, and I feel like I'm sort of on a tightrope for anyone now. I mean, that's the thing in America, anyone can have a huge job, and the fact that it's not going to be parallel to the thing that you get involved with is taken out of the right now. So I really need to get myself together in terms of building up my plan. A couple of years ago, 2015, I earned a massive amount of money writing. Uh, I was really stressed about it, and I need to figure out what I did then, and continue doing it now, because uh, making money independently is the only way that you can find financial security in this world. And working with someone else is fine, but you will always have that thought of damaging hanging over your head, you might get fired at any moment or something, uh, and then you just ruin it. So, financial independence comes from being able to earn your own money. And the most successful I've ever been at that has been through writing and other things. So I need to get back into that. What is this guy doing? I'm following this this Ford Mustang going like 10 miles an hour below the speed limit. Anyway, okay. Get to the gym, lose weight, eat right, and also build up my finances. Funnily enough, the, the situation sort of my finances is exactly the same situation. To, uh, to lose weight and get healthy again. It's a matter of reps, repetition. It's just the same thing, in and out, every single day. And in terms of my publishing business, it is writing. I need to get writing again. I haven't written anything new or original in a month, and that's why my writing business is failing. So, I got a cover for a new book, I just need to get into writing. So, in terms of every single day, I need to spend an hour in the gym. Every single day, I need to spend an hour writing. And that's tough. Well, two hours out of two hours out of your day is actually eight point two percent of your day. So that's not that bad. Then you know I have to go to work for eight hours. I'm really have to start focusing on my work, look after the kids, do the jobs there, and manage to get some food. Not going to be easy. It's going to take organisation. Organisation is not something that I have been particularly well known for, but I can do it. Anyway. That's my plan, that's where my head's at. You might have noticed that I am a lot more focused than I have been the last few days, uh, which is good. And I'm never been more focused, hopefully. One thing is for sure though, uh, the next few days, I think take it easy and uh, enjoy the last day of this god awful year. So, in terms of that, we have a snowstorm coming in today, in fact, it's pouring rain right now, that's going to turn into ice cream later, which is going to be fun. Tomorrow is a day off from work, and we are having parties, but they have my work calls like an open house, where people can drop in and say hi, and invite people to come and see them, uh, but they're not all going to come at once, they're going to come throughout the day, and that's quite nice, and then we'll have a New York City party in a few days, uh, and then that just leaves Saturday, and Sunday, to finish, well, Saturday, to get on with uh, the final thing, get this year over and done with. You know, let me think. That was my last year in my 30s. I was like 40. Um, and my goal is to be financially and physically fit by the time.
that much more. I want to see the impact. I don't want to see just the fat, slutty dad when I come home. I want to see the sexy dad. So there we go. That's my plan. I've got several years to do it. There's no reason why I can't. As I said yesterday, all to do with with just following your actions to achieve your goal. None of it is rocket science. I know that if I go to different hours a day and I count my calories every day, I'm heading to the place of destiny. I know that if I write different hours a day and stick to writing the book that I'm going to sell and be successful, I know I can do that as well. There is nothing stopping me from achieving my goals if it sets me money. Good head. So I just need to stick to it. And that's what I intend to do. Okay, I have rabbited on long enough. Time to get to work. Make a donut, as they say. And uh, embrace this last work of day of 2016. Thank you very much. I am sure I will speak to you tomorrow. Bye bye.